Hi Aries, thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena. I'm doing your general spread. I do them every week and a half to two weeks. I'm going to look at the strongest energies around you right now. Recent past, the person you've been dealing with, and then what's headed in. If you're not dealing with anyone, there is a timestamp just to move into the incoming after I look at your current and recent past. This is good for all placements for the beautiful sign of Aries. Energies can be moved around. This will not resonate with everyone. I always ask for the strongest messages for the sign I am reading for. I have understanding popping out. So right now I feel around certain Aries is you're trying to have an understanding about something. All right, let's look. Spirit guides. Strongest energies around the sign of Aries. This reading is for, please. Show me what I need to see for the strongest energies. Thank you. For the sign of Aries. What else would you like to show me for the strongest energies? Oh, around the sign of Aries. That is so you. That is so you. Wait till you see that card. That is you. Underneath the deck, this has been showing up. There's two cards that have been showing up in every reading since that lunar eclipse in Scorpio. I have love and I have cycles and I have forbidden and feeling trapped. And that's probably why you're asking why or understanding. You're trying to understand something that you've been going through cycles with. And it has to do with something that touches your heart in immense amounts because I have love. I start to feel this is what I'm feeling. I feel that it's it's been constant cycles and it's with something that you feel has is forbidden. Like maybe you're starting to wonder the situation or whatever you've been going through is like, is this not supposed to happen? Hmm, that's what I feel. But the card that flew over to my left is, oh, this is Aries. I got warrior. <laughs> I love the way that card flew. Um, this is who you are. You are the warrior. You are the emperor. You are Aries. And I feel that you are on this path and energy of you will conquer and battle whatever comes at you. Mm. Because I have belonging. You know, I feel like it's something that you feel you belong to and you're, you're constantly going through cycles with it. It almost feels forbidden with love and trapped. It's like, I don't know, maybe this isn't supposed to happen. You know, maybe I'm supposed to get something new or maybe I'm supposed to go in a different direction. Belonging, house of the night. I feel that right now around you, you're starting to question everything. Like, is this worth me battling for? Belonging to something that feels like everything's so hidden with house of the night? I have obedience and I have honesty. This is the card that's been popping out in every reading. And I have the middle of the book. I have chapter one, the end, and a conclusion. So right now, I feel that there's something around you that I think maybe you're being honest with yourself about. And it's something that you feel has just been forbidden because the cycles you've been going through with something to do with love has been making you feel trapped. And it's like now you're fighting to belong somewhere, to go somewhere. I mean, it's like the warrior with belonging. You are in this energy of you're going to get a conclusion of something here, you know, and I feel with obedience and honesty, this is about the truth, you know, being honest to yourself, being honest to someone else, or just being honest about a situation that you keep going in cycles with. But I'm going to look at your recent past, Ace of Cups. For the sign of Aries, I never know which decks I'm going to choose. I always do a lot of shuffling. Recent past, please, for the sign of Aries. Those cycles, I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes when they keep, and it always seems like they just keep coming back around at you. It has to do with love, and you felt trapped from it, and now you're, you're fighting to belong somewhere. You're coming to a conclusion. Recent past, please, for the beautiful sign of Aries. What would you like to show me? About the recent past. Thank you. For the sign of Aries. Thank you. 
What else would you like to show me for the recent past? Thank you, Spirit, for the sign of Aries. Anything else? Who's that? Oh, the Five of Swords. Oof. Oh. All right, here we go. Let's let's roll it. <laughs> it's like, uh oh. Well, that Five of Swords is definitely something that's been eaten at your brain recently in the past, and it's like you know, a lot of miscommunication because of the Mercury retrograde and the lunar eclipse and misunderstandings. And I have it with you protecting yourself with the Seven of Wands. This is like. From something that's been eaten at your mind. It's like, I think you're coming to a conclusion right now in your current energies about it. See it? With that warrior. And I just feel like it's something that puts you in this state of, I can't keep doing this with somebody. These words or mind games or something of that nature. I do have the three of wands with the four of wands. And showing up at the bottom of the deck was an ace of cups. So I'm going to stop there. Which was, I saw on the bottom of the deck. That card there. No. All right. I don't think. But it's okay. I got plenty. So three of wands and I have a four of wands. Ooh, waiting for something to come to open up. A reunion. Something to come together for you. You were waiting. And it may have happened because I have a new chance. A new opportunity. You thought it was going to be a new opportunity of love. But it messed with your head a lot. I have the seven of pentacles. And I have it with the ten of swords in reverse. Stop there. That Seven of Pentacles is, well, I do believe that this is something that truly was never over because in your current energies, it's cycles and forbidden. And it's like, it's something that I feel that always comes to some type of hurtful completion, but it's never over. And with the Seven of Pentacles here, that's earth energy about you put work into something, you know, um, I don't know, maybe you couldn't walk away from something. I don't know. I feel something weird there. Oh, well. Okay, here explains it. I have the Six of Cups with the Empress. Oh, that Six of Cups. Oh, it's a beautiful connection. That's a lot of nostalgia with somebody who you thought was very grounded, nurturing, kind. Or you've been planting seeds with something here. Because that Six of Cups is a connection that's very hard to walk away from because it almost feels like it's your best friend. Like, your best friend, your lover, your confidant. It's somebody when you're together, you have this amazing connection. But it's with the Empress. So I do feel that there's something here that keeps messing with you that almost feels forbidden that you put work into. You were waiting for something to come in and it may have came in with that Four of Wands. I have the Three and the Four. And that Six of Cups and the Empress, because in front of me, I do have the Almighty Magician. Your energy's in here, Aries. Mm. And over to my right is I have the Eager Page of Wands. So right now, rolling into your current energies, is that Spire energy? I feel like you're so eager to get something new started, and you are putting it out there. Because I feel that right now, you're coming to a conclusion about something that's been a constant cycle. You feel like it's almost, okay, this is just might just be forbidden. This is just something maybe I shouldn't have. And it's with love that's been keeping you feel trapped in your current energies. But I have that warrior with belonging. And right now, Aries, right around you is you're fighting to go after something that you belong to. And you're being very obedient. You're being, I think you're being very true to yourself. And it's honesty. But honesty. So let's look at the opposing. Hmm. All right. Just wanted to look at the next two cards. The next card was success. But I want to see the opposing energies, and then we'll look at what's coming in for you. All right, let's use these today. I haven't used these in a long time. All right, Spirit Guides. Uh, please tell me about the crossing energies for the sign of Aries. Thank you. If you are not dealing with anyone, there's a timestamp in the description box to move into the incoming. A lot of people want to know. If you don't care to know, I understand completely. Okay, Spirit Guides, crossing energies. For the sign of Aries, what do you want to show me, please? Thank you. Thank you. Crossing. Huh. Energies. My Aries has been dealing with, please. What else do you want to show me? 
it does. But I'm going to tell you what, they have a lot to say, Aries. Maybe there's something here you need to understand. Mm -hmm. I have the Queen of Swords under the deck. Whoa. With Cancerian and the Chariot. And then I have the Three of Wands, someone who's been waiting and waiting and waiting for something to come towards them. That Queen of Swords, that's Libra energy with Cancerian here, but this is someone who is trying to get the will and determination to go after something um, with truth. The Queen of Swords can be very cold energy. All right, let me, let me just start looking here. First card to my left is I have the Page of Swords, and I have it with the Two of Swords, and then I have the Page of Cups. Wow. I mean, this is a very different deck, so I start to feel very different energies, and I like to mix it up a lot. That Page of Swords is something that just keeps weighing on their head that they can't seem to forget about, and I feel they're looking at it because they want to transform something with it. I mean, if you look at this Page of Swords, there's butterflies all the way around it, and it's got that hat of, wow, this is weighing on me, and I have it with the, the Two of Swords. It's like trying to make a decision here because they don't have all their answers on something. I don't know. Okay, here we go. I have the hanging man and it's in reverse the way I picked it up. And I have it with the four of swords. This is someone who's been taking a time out. You know, um, I feel that this time out they've been taking is helping them see something in a new way that they were kind of upside down about. I do have the High Priestess sideways in front of me, and I have it with the Two of Wands. Whoever you're dealing with is trying to use their intuition. Um, they're trying to tap into something here. When is it time for me to move forward or take a chance with something here? What I feel, it's just like, I don't know. They're, they, they're trying to tap into something here. But I do have that Page of Cups, too. So this is someone who I feel is carrying some type of weight on their shoulders about you because they can't stop thinking about something here to do with you. Like, they still have this cup of love for you. They just feel a little naked about it. I don't know what's going on here. That's what I'm kind of feeling. All right. Well, I have the Hermit sideways in front of me. This is someone who wants to come out of being withdrawn, and then I have it with the moon. You know, um, the Hermit is Virgo with the Moon, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. It's like they want to come out of the things that have been looming in the night. In other words, like I feel like have been hidden from them. But they have an inkling of something here. What's going on here, Aries? Sorry, I'm, I, I can't. These, these cards are a little hard to read for me. I have the Empress... And I have it with the Knight of Communication. And then I have big Scorpio showing up. There's those butterflies. And I felt that, you guys, with the Page of Swords. I felt like it's someone who is thinking, can I transform this? Can I rebirth this into something new? Can I shed an old way of this situation? The Knight of Swords, they're thinking about coming in and talking to you. And I have it with the Empress. Um, I just feel that right now they're finally coming out of being in a hermit mode from full-on hiding, you know? And I feel like they're trying to wonder, when should I come forward? Mm. One card left. Oh, you guys, I have the Six of Cups. You guys have matching cards. <sighs> you know, I just feel like both of you are having a lot of nostalgia, I feel that there's some type of misunderstanding here. There's something that puts you in the protection mode. And you put work into something, and I don't think it's really over here yet. But you're eager to get something new started in your life. And you're fighting for it in your current energy. So it could be a new beginning with something here. But I do feel with the Six of Cups and the Empress, this is something that keeps pulling you back in. That you've nurtured. That you're hoping to mend something here with. And the opposing has a Six of Cups. So this is something I feel that's going to finally come into some type of 
open, honest communication because I saw the night of I'm coming in to talk to you. But right now, you know, the hermit's sideways. So I feel like this might take a little... I, I bet you after Mercury retrograde, Mercury retrograde goes direct. You know, because right now everybody's in the state of confusion about things. But let's look at what's coming in for you because that's why we're here. And I always feel, you know, it does help. <laughs> it does help um, knowing your current energies to understand things. Memories of love did pop out. I am going to put it back in. For the incoming energies, please, for the beautiful sign of Aries. Show me what's coming in in the next few weeks. Tell me about their incoming energies, please. Strongest. Thank you. Thank you. Strongest incoming energies for my Aries. What else do you want to show me? Strongest energies for the incoming energies for the sign of Aries. Strongest incoming energies. Anything else for the beautiful sign of Aries incoming? No, but you know the card that popped out right in front of me? Aries. <laughs> I got new beginnings. I got the full zero. Incoming energies, because right now you're in the middle of the book. You're coming to a conclusion about something that's been constant cycles. And I got zero. That is magnificent. Under the deck, you guys, I have material and spiritual prosperity. From any heartache and loss, because the warrior has going to have victory and success. Yep. From patience and planning and you're gonna have to let something go here so I think sacrifice is about letting something go that just keeps repeating itself in your life that it's either going to change transform into something beautiful you know because right in front of me I have new beginnings but this is about your material and spiritual prosperity and you're right between those two fountains there of water of coming to some type of enlightenment here Mm, I have spiritual union. You know, let me tell you, it's a little bit of a waiting game right now. I did see the hermit sideways. If you've been dealing with somebody, it's a little bit of a waiting game about something you're going to feel completely connected to. It's going to be a new beginning. You're starting over a new chance. It could be a new relationship. It could be a mending with something here. But I feel it's going to make you feel like I've done it. I finally done it. It could be about a job. It could be about something about you, a relationship. There's so many different things here because I have spiritual union. And they just want me to tell you, be a little patient. Be a little patient. I know it's hard, but this is about patience and planning and something is coming together for you. It's coming together for you. I can see it. All right, let's look. <laughs> nope, let's use these today. All right. Patience. <laughs> Temperance. Spirit guides, uh, just a little bit of patience, Aries. I really do feel that in the incoming energies, I feel some fat, something's coming in. Something's coming in. Like you're going to finally have a victory and success over that's been hurting your heart. Whatever it's been. Maybe it's just about a change in life, a new direction. You're getting there. It's coming. Thank you. Incoming energies. Thank you. For the sign. Aries. Incoming energies, please. What do you want to show me for the incoming energies? For the beautiful sign of Aries, please. What else? What else would you like to show me for the incoming energies for the sign of Aries? Anything else? Nope. But underneath the deck, Aries, I can't make this shit up. It's been happening a lot lately. I have Aries showing up. This is you being back in your element. In the incoming energies, this is you. This is the Emperor, Aries. And I have it with the Ten of Wands. Finally, all that weight you've been carrying around is coming down. Because I think you'll have your conclusion. Because the next card out is I have the world. It's telling me, whatever you've been through, that cycle is done. And you're about to be in your element and take charge again. Because then I have... The Nine of Pentacles. That's full-on mastery, Aries. That's full-on achievement. 
And I have it with big Scorpio. Getting rid of that old skin. Transformation. Wow, you guys. And I have a golden opportunity. The Ace of Shields. The Ace of Pentacles. That is huge. That is a new beginning. I have something you've been wishing for. Nine of Cups. And I have it with the Page of Wands sideways. And I have it with the Three of Cups. You've been wishing for something recently in the past, Aries. And what happens when you wish, you are the manifester. It's recent past, and I have it with the Page of Wands. You've been throwing something out there recently. Well, my friends, it's coming in. But unfortunately, I'm not sure it's something you want anymore because I have the Page of Wands sideways with it, with the Three of Cups. And it's something you've created. It's coming in for you. I have the Four of Pentacles sideways. And then I have, here it is again, the Ten of Swords sideways. So this is, I feel, Ten of Swords is something that has come to a hurtful completion. But there's something here that's really not over because I feel that something's about to open up for you. It could have been maybe the job you wanted or the person you wanted. But I'm not sure you want it anymore. I have, you're going to receive. I got the Six of Pentacles. Oh, shit. And I got the Sun. And then I have the Five of Wands with the Five of Swords sideways. Eek. You guys, the Five of Wands is the things in your life that have been nothing but conflicts. With the Five of Swords sideways, I feel like this is something that you're finally going to override. You're finally going to override. And I think everything is going to be evened out because underneath all those other cards, you guys, I had success, you know, and I have it with hope underneath that. And I had felt it's with definitely something you've had differences about that you had given up hope with. Well, you put it out there, Aries. You have created it and now it's coming in. I got the Six of Pentacles with the Sun. The sun is feeling good from being a little patient and planning something here, Aries. You are the emperor. You do map it out. Because <laughs> you know you're going to succeed. I mean, there's this success all over this whole reading with the nine of pentacles, Scorpio showing up, the world, the ace of pentacles, and I have you taking charge. <laughs> oh my goodness. Aries, whatever is coming in for you, it's something you put out there, you know, and this is, you are about to receive and it's going to make you shine. It's going to make you feel good. Are you about to receive from Leo? I don't know, but this is where I feel that you're going to have a conclusion, whether this can start anew, but I think it's something you thought was over is about to be redone. Maybe, maybe it was a job you thought wasn't going to work out or a relationship. Okay. What I'm feeling. And that's what I'm going with. <laughs> but I do really feel you got success. It's all over this reading. And I, it's a new beginning, you know. And maybe you're finally taking charge of something here that's just been going around and round and round in those cycles recently in your current energies. With the world, realizing that I'm taking charge of this, you know. And the world is here telling me that you're about to start new cycles. Mm. I mean, I just keep seeing these cards, Aries. I don't mean to really bring it up, but... You with the golden opportunity and you are under the deck with the world. Whatever you've been going through is done. You're about to start some new cycles because transformation's in the house. Mm. And you are going to be feeling good. I have the nine of pentacles with success. So I do feel it's about a spiritual union. Um, it could be a spiritual union with yourself, with something you've been wanting and I just feel the only bumpy road here is about maybe something that you've been fighting for. And with the Five of Swords sideways, maybe it's time to come to type a 50-50 agreement with something here. Does that make any sense to you? Like, maybe it's a realization that, can I work this out? Or is it time for me just to go, go somewhere new and be determined to get it? Because you got success and you showing up. Let's see what my spirit guides want to tell you, though. A few cards, please, for the beautiful sign of Aries. What special messages, two cards, do you have? I got a funny feeling. I need one more. I just felt it so strongly. Okay. This is what they want to say to you. Oh, you guys got four cards. Mm, little tricksters here. Paige Raphael. 
Hmm. A new emotional situation, messages regarding relationships or social invitations, great intuitive insight. I feel through whatever communication you're about to receive, you know, and this is what I feel is something's about to be answered for you. Mm, interesting. Hmm. I have the three of Gabriel. Prosperity arising from wise planning. He had patience and planning. Time to take the next step, Aries. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. Hmm. I don't think that's any coincidence because I don't believe in them. I have the two Ariel. This is about balance. It's important to have balance, Aries, because you guys try to do too much. <laughs> Working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. I think it's telling me for you to lighten up a little bit and have some fun. Have some fun. I know how you guys are when you guys set your mind to something. And then I have the five of Michael. This situation doesn't serve you, Aries. This situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachments to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach, taking charge of a situation. That's what I feel. Don't let the situation take charge of you. You take charge of the situation. And come to your conclusion because you got new beginnings, an ace of pentacles, transformation, and you're in the house. Beautiful, Aries. This is what I have for you, you guys. If you enjoyed it, please remember to like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're not. Thank you. Thank you to all my beautiful Aries Nation. I love you guys. Thank you for all your support. Truly wishing everyone many beautiful blessings. Thank you for viewing me today.